this one's interesting. So I, I, I took this capture like 10 years ago. I, I've, I've refused to let go of it because I like it so much. This is a microwave oven killing Bluetooth, right? And it's a little more understandable if you can see the precise colors uh, natively. But uh, right in the middle, see, you can kind of see kind of some vertical bars there, dead middle of this. That's the microwave. It's kind of sinusoidal, right? Uh, and it's at least as strong as a strong Bluetooth packet, if not a bit more. And remember the green, uh, the bar charts on the right? See how there's none in the middle? Because the microwave's killing the Bluetooth connection here, or at least it's trying to. In reality, and I'll show you in a minute, Bluetooth is managing this pretty dang well. I'll, I'll show you, right? But anyway, that uh, you can see at the very bottom there, I don't know if you can really see there's some loops at the bottom. That's that sinusoidal waveform I talked about. That is my microwave in my kitchen cooking a, a bottle of water. Okay. Uh, that's the avoidance right there. See the, the purple bars there? That's our software telling the user that we're not using those channels, at least in this PicoNet over that period of time, because that stupid microwave is killing us. Right? See that? Right? Look at the bars, right? Same bars, right? So we're just shut off. So I think the BRDR, I think the minimum is like 20 channels. And that's what it's using here. This probably isn't bad in my kitchen with my uh, phone talking to my headset. But if I have a bunch of devices contending for the same available medium, uh, this may become more problematic. Um, that's the, uh, just a quick example of the, dy the dynamic nature of AFH. Right? This is about, oh, uh, I think it's a few seconds. I can't see. But... Uh, uh, you can see it's the, the, the devices are, are basically saying, okay, talk here, don't talk here. This channel's good, that channel's bad, etc. cetera. Okay. Uh, by the way, that's vendor dependent. That's not some hardcore spec thing, right? Um, AFH, of course, and channel mapping is defined by the specs. How it's implemented is vendor specific. These tools, by the way, are often used to qualify. So when your next generation automobiles, if you want to go qualify radios, of course, you can have their sales guy come in. He can tell you how great it is, and and he's probably right. But if you really want to know yourself, uh, you can characterize uh, what you're being offered with these tools quite nicely, and you can compare and contrast to other solutions. Uh, I mentioned a minute ago about characterizing. So we talked about errors and things like that at the physical level. This view here is sort of a – I turned the, the axes on their side. Uh, but that microwave trace that we were looking at, where it was just talking at the extremes, 99% of the packets in that case were good. And, and I can tell this, there's a legend. I won't point it out to you there, but there's a legend at the top left there. That's good. Bluetooth is doing its job. It has really good defense mechanisms. It's when they fail, of course, uh, we want to be uh, aware of that.